Hi! <laughs> you already said that. Hey ben, how are you doing? Uh -huh. Okay. It's looking good, bud. It's coming. No, this is the stuff right here that's looking I'm, good. I'm filling in the sides with this uh, fiberglass uh, putty, just to kind of like level it out a wee bit. <laughs> but I forgot to film. COVID! <laughs> I forgot to film this part. Guys, but Luke is doing this. No. Well, I don't know exactly. I'm the cameraman now, and he's hiring me. I see that. He's not hiring you. Are you sure that uh, video quality is good? Mhm. Mm and this is what Luke's How doing. Like this is what Luke's doing right now. Yeah, let's get a close look at that. I can't watch it now because I'm on video. How's that shot? Oh, that's probably good. I basically filled in the sides by the boat just to get them level. So when I put a fiberglass cloth over top, it will have, um, it won't have that huge ridge. So I did that on both sides. I'm going to have to probably put a little bit down in the cracks on each side of the floor there as well. And I have ordered uh, a big sheet of fiberglass cloth to lay out on the floor. And then I'm going to hopefully very soon fiberglass the floor into the boat as, as well as the transom. And I also ordered some more fiberglass resin. So this stuff I used the Bondo fiberglass resin. Definitely a lot cheaper. So I got some of this from Home Depot. My buddy Scott recommended that stuff. He owns a company called Boat Doctor out in New York and he rebuilds and refinishes and restores boats as well. And he's been giving me a lot of pointers over the past few months and I'm very thankful for that. So if any of you guys live on the East Coast, check out Scott the Boat Doctor and he will set you guys up with some, some beautiful boat repairs. He does excellent work. But right now, I'm going to clean up everything, and I'll be back hopefully tomorrow. A few days later, got the uh, fiberglass putty here all dry, and I'm going to start fiberglassing the floor in. But first, I'm going to also kind of just... Just going to quickly fill in this crack here with the fiberglass putty up to the back here. And then also pour a bunch down in the corners here. And I'll do that before I completely fiberglass everything in. So before I fill in the cracks along the side, I'm going to quickly take my belt sander and just go over this crack and this crack. Get that all smooth and then just go along the sides here just to take down any bumps and ridges. Make sure everything's smooth. And then as soon as I'm done sanding that, I'll fill in the cracks there with putty. And then hopefully, as soon as I'm done that, just move on to putting the fiberglass cloth down. All right, so I'm gonna pull out my sander, get to sanding, and continue on from there. Okay, so I sanded everything down. Um, sanded the whole floor down, 
and along these edges just to get any uh, just to get all the edges smooth so when I do lay the fiberglass over it will um, it will just look smooth <laughs> so right now I'm actually going to <clears throat> cut out some fiberglass cloth and kind of like build up the edges of this sump or this bilge box here because you can see the old fiberglass has a bit of a uh, ridge here, so I kind of just want to just cut out some strips and then build up each wall so that it's just, like basically flush with this ridge. When I cover the whole floor with fiberglass cloth, I'm going to kind of like wrap it around and then it will look more uniform. All right, so I rolled out the fiberglass, cut it all to shape, cut it to shape. <laughs> um, so here I have it, it'll be jammed underneath this two by six here. And then I kind of cut it so it wraps around the bilge pump. Yeah, it just comes up the side. And then I have just a strip coming down in the bow. It's all laid in there nicely. I'm gonna be taking the roll of 1708 and then just um, coming along the, the edge and like kind of filling in the corner here. Let's do this. One ounce with each uh, one ounce of resin, 10 drops of hardener. All right, let's get as many ounces as we can possibly get in this sucker. Oh, that's 60 ounces. Right. So let's start with maybe 20 ounces. I don't know. So let's just go with 20, uh, let's just go with 38 ounces, 32 ounces. Oh, maybe it's gonna be too much. I'll just start with 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We'll see how far 20 ounces gets us. Yeah, I completely forgot about covering the whole floor in fiberglass first and then laying down the fiberglass mat. So, um, 
I had a bit of trouble with the back end here because I had laid this whole sheet down and then I just started applying the resin and the fiberglass cloth wasn't really soaking it up very well. And I was using like a lot of resin to try to like get it to soak through. So I ended up peeling it back from underneath the transom and then just kind of painting the floor with resin and then laying it back down and then working all the air bubbles out. So it was a bit of a process and I probably won't have enough resin to finish the rest of the floor tonight. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to actually um, cut it here and then just finish off um, the back part and then in the morning and then in the morning when I come, I'll finish off the floor. But I don't think I really want to leave it half finished because then it will kind of like dry weird. So, so what I'm going to do is just, unfortunately I wanted to, I originally wanted it to be all one piece, but I guess it won't be. So I'm going to cut it and finish the back piece, have it completely secure to the floor and I can just butt it up right against that and continue on. Try to get this as straight as possible. All right, so finished fiberglassing the uh, floor in. Um, it turned out really well. Uh, minimal air bubbles. There are some, but sometimes you just can't get those stubborn air bubbles out. So there's not too many. There's a little guy here. I, uh, I think I see a little guy right there. Um, otherwise, otherwise, it turned out pretty well. Um, I really wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but it did. I ran out of resin, at least the resin that I used for the floor. But I'm going to still put like a strip along here just to this point where the floor where this part of the floor starts to the back. And then uh, maybe just give that a little bit of reinforcement. So that's uh, finished. And that will bring us to the conclusion of this video. Um, next video, I will probably be, I'll be working on the top for sure. I'm gonna probably sand down the floor after it's dry and get all the bumps and stuff out and then figure out how to, well, I'll see how it turns out, but I'm gonna eventually paint it. Um, and then the transom part here, for the cap. I'm gonna, I've been really figuring out what I should do with this, cause it's pretty mangled. I am thinking I might just take my multi-tool, my oscillating saw, cut along here. And then on, also on the other side, just take this whole piece out and then install the cap, the top on the boat, fiberglass that down and like have it installed permanently and then and then build up this to the transom so i might even cut out a piece of plywood this shape after this is cut out and then put that in place and then just kind of fiberglass it all to 
the plywood, but um, I don't know if that made any sense. <laughs> so I would attach the plywood to here first. So once the top is on, I would fit in the plywood under the transom and then fiberglass it to, and then just fiberglass it all together. I think that might be my best bet. Um, so I'm gonna think through that and see how, see uh, if that is the best option. And then, um, and then I will be probably starting that within the next few days. But yeah, as of right now, my work here is done, at least with the floor. <laughs> So it, it feels good to have the floor in finally, but yeah, excited to get the top on as well. So like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Continue following along. Hopefully soon, real soon, we'll have this boat ready to launch. So anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day.